Hello students, welcome to this video on multiplying and dividing by tens review. Now whenever we're multiplying by factors of 10 or dividing by factors of 10, hopefully you'll have these mental strategies so that you never have to use a calculator. All right, let's have a look at section one. When multiplying by any factor of 10, remember to move the decimal place to the right. So remember when we're multiplying, we move the decimal place to the right. So we've got three examples to work through. Example one, 3.25 times 1,000. So let's have a look at the number that we're multiplying by, the factor of 10. So 1,000 is actually 10 times 10 times 10. There are three zeros in 1,000, so we know that we're going to move the decimal place three places to the right. So I've rewritten the question below to make it easier. All right, so the decimal place is between the ones and the tens columns. So let's move it three places to the right. One, two, three. Let's place the decimal here. Now, we have an open place value here that we have to fill. So we're going to fill it with the number zero. So when we rewrite our answer, 3.25 times 1,000, we go left to right. We write in the three, the two, the five, and the zero and we see that this answer is actually 3,250. All right, let's have a look at example two. 0 0.004 times 10,000. Let's have a look at the factor of 10 that we're multiplying by. 10,000 is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. There are four zeros in the number 10,000, so we know that we're gonna move the decimal place four places to the left, to the right, sorry. All right, so let's rewrite the question here, 0 0.004. So let's move it three place, four places to the right. One, two, three, four. All right, let's place the decimal there. And we have to fill this decimal place, this place value column with a zero. So when we rewrite it, okay, let's write it from the left. With zero, 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 four, zero, period. Okay. Decimal, sorry. So we've got a couple of errors here that I want you to just keep in mind, okay? So this is clearly the whole number 40. So when we have a whole number, we never write the zeros in front of it. And when we have a whole number, we never write the decimal behind it. So the proper way to write this answer is simply 40, okay? All right, let's have a look at example three. 1,024 times 100,000. Let's have a look at the number, the factor of 10 we're multiplying by. 100,000 is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. There are five zeros, so we know we're going to move the decimal place five places to the right. So, because 1,024 is a whole number, we know that the decimal place is hidden behind the last number. So let's move this decimal place five places to the right. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to place my decimal place there. Now I've got all of these place value columns to put a zero in. It's going to be a very big number. All right, so when we write a big number like this, it's always good to write it from the right to the left. So if I start here, we've got a zero, zero, zero. So put a comma. 0, 0, 4, put a comma, and then we have 1, 0, 2. So we actually have a very large number, 102,400,000. Because it's a whole number, we do not put the decimal place at the end of the number. Okay, so that's the review for multiplying. So let's review dividing. When dividing by any factor of 10, Remember to move the decimal place to the left. So dividing, we have to move the decimal place to the left. So let's work through our three examples. Example one, 21,098 divided by 10. Well, 10 has only one zero. So we're only going to move the decimal place one place to the left. So I've rewritten the question here. Because it's a whole number, we know that the decimal place is behind the last number and we'll move it one place to the left so that it goes here. So when we rewrite our answer, we write two, one, zero, nine, and we'll place the decimal there, eight. So we get an answer of 2,109.8. Uh, 
Let's go to example two. 21.77 divided by 1,000. Well, let's have a look at the number, the factor of 10 we're dividing by. 1,000 is 10 times 10 times 10, three zeros. So we know we're going to move the decimal place three places to the left. So 21.77, we start here. We go 1, 2, 3. We place the 0 there. Now, we have to fill this place value with a 0. Okay, so let's write our answer. We have the decimal place, 0, 2, 1, 7, 7. Now, whenever we have a decimal and there is no number in the 1's column, we must fill this place value with a 0. So we have an answer of 0 0.02177. All right, let's have a look at example 3. 0 0.25 divided by 10,000. 10,000 is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. There are four zeros, so we know we're going to move the decimal place four places to the left. So this is going to be a very small number. So the decimal place starts here. One, two, three, four. Let's place the decimal. We have to fill the tenths with a zero, the hundredths column with a zero, the thousands column with a zero, and the ones column with a zero. So let's rewrite our answer. So we have 0, decimal, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 5. Let's count the zeros behind the decimal. 1, 2, 3, 4. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4. 0 0.25 divided by 10,000 is 0 0.000025, a very small number. So I hope this is coming back to you. Again, when we're ever multiplying or dividing by factors of 10, you should not need a calculator. Thanks for watching. Bye.